Hey guys, MattBrick16 here, and today for Throwback Thursday, I'm going to be reviewing the 71042 Silent Mary from Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales. This set released in 2017 and retailed for $200 at the time. However, if you wanted to get this set new in box, according to Brickset, its value is around $290 new. And if for the set used according to Brickset, its value is around $259. And yeah, this is an amazing set. So let's get into it. So the first minifigure up is Jack Sparrow. And I'm actually going to show the original version of Jack Sparrow as well. And for starters, he this new Jack Sparrow comes with his compass that points to what he wants. The black pearl in a bottle, which is a really nice inclusion. And a sword. Pretty much everything Jack Sparrow carries in the movie. So, from, I'm going to go from the legs up, from comparing the figures. So, both of them have pretty continuous torso prints from the leg prints. And they're both really nice. However, you can see there's a lot more detail in the in the newer Jack Sparrow, which is this one right here, by the way. And, yeah, it's just a lot nicer of a torso print. And then, yeah, there's some nice newer silver prints there. And then, yeah, there's a, a better sash there, I think, at least. And then there's better stripe detailing there for that part of the sash. And then on the back side, this is the new one here. And then this is the old one there. And then we'll compare their faces in a minute. But first, the headpiece, they're the same mold, but can't be any more different. Because this one, the only printing on it besides the red is that, that little thing right there. Well, this one has the same thing, but it has printing on the bandana, which is really, really nice detail. And then I'm going to take up the hair. The face on the newer Jack Sparrow is, like, a lot nicer compared to this one. This newer one has, like, the markings around the eyes and the scratches. And then for a smiling face, the new one has, again, the scratch there. And then, yeah, it just is a lot better. But they both are really good representations of, of Jack Sparrow. But I just wanted to show that the new one is way better than the original one. So, the second minifigure is Henry Turner. And this is another really, really nice figure. So, for starters, he has no leg printing, but he has a really nice torso print. He has the necklace that Will gave him. And just really nice detailing on the leather jacket. And, again, really nice detailing on the back print. And then he has a spyglass and a sword as his accessories, which are really nice accessories for him. I'm just going to take them off. And then he has a really scared face print on the front and then a smiling face print on the back. And then he uses Will Turner's hair piece, just in a different color. And, yeah, this is a great minifigure. Third is Karina Smith, and she comes with her diary, or her father's diary, I should say, and it has a nice gem there and the star map printing there for the constellation that they follow. Then on the inside is a really nice print. Let's just focus on that. Yeah, it's really nice. It doesn't really say anything, but yeah, it's just really nice. And then she also comes with a telescope and then she has really nice printing on her dress and torso and then she uses the Elizabeth Swan hair piece I think this was originally used for in brown and then she has a nice face print and a nice back face print and again a nice back dress print they really went all out for these figures so, yeah, let's take a look at Captain Salazar next. Okay, here is Captain Salazar, and he has really nice leg printing, really nice torso printing, really nice back torso printing, and then he comes with a black sword, and he has some nice little tail coats there, and then 
he has a nice face print that's really accurate to the ghosts, and he has a nice special molded hair piece. And yeah, this is really nice for this figure. Fifth is Lieutenant Lacerio, and he comes with a black sword like the other ghost pirate, Captain Salazar. And then he has a really nice hat, and it just looks really nice. The printing is really good in there. And then he has a really nice face print and a really nice coat. I like how they changed up the color scheme. It's really accurate, and it works well to have a different color scheme for one of the characters. And, yeah, he has a really nice eye patch on his face print, and this is another really great minifigure. Here is Officer Santos. He comes with a broom and a gun, which it's a nice change of accessories from the other figures of the ghosts. And he has a really nice ghost mold there with some nice gray mixed in with the clear. And then he has a nice torso print. And then nice back print. And then his face print is another really nice face print. And he comes with a hat and on for the hairpiece and yeah this is another really great minifigure all the minifigures in the set are really great second to last is officer magda and i just wanted to say sorry if i'm going a little fast i just want to keep this review as short as possible and one thing really nice about this figure is he comes with a clear leg and then yeah the printing is really nice as is all the figures and then he has a really nice face print and a really nice hat. So it really works for all the characters that have hats in this set. And yeah, another really great minifigure. Next is the Silent Mary Masterhead. She comes with a shield and a sword. Two really nice accessories. And there's a really nice torso print there. And it... it it's a really nice face print in there, and the hood really looks nice. And then on the back side, there's another really nice head print and torso print. And this front, this back head print is for when she's not in all ghost form. Well, the front is when she comes to life. So yeah, another great minifigure. All the minifigures in this set are really amazing. Before we take a look at the Silent Mary, I thought we'd take a look at the boat that Jack Sparrow and them are in. And it's a really nice boat. There's room for all the minifigures. You can put Jack in the back there. And then there's some oars that come with the boat. And then I like to give Henry Turner the oars. You put them in the hands and then have him sit here to row them, and then yeah, he's right there rowing. Those little spots there are meant for the oars to go through, and then Karina can be facing the front of the boat, and yeah, this is a really nice small build for the lifeboat. Okay, so here is the Silent Mary from the front view. And I'm actually going to just put the Silent Mary Master Head right there, because that's where it's supposed to go. And then it looks really nice with this thing right here. Sadly, if you pull up, though, these two little platforms there can go upwards. But yeah, that's just something bad. It's a very fragile build, I will say that, so don't really put it anywhere that, like, it's, like, barely doing it, because it does wobble a lot if it's not perfectly together. And then... Here's an anchor there, and then on the side here, it's just really nice detailing with a bunch of cannons along here. They can move, um, that can move, but the cannons can like move upwards and stuff. So it's just re really, a lot of these things are really movable. There's a bell here that can be moved through there, and then here is the steering wheel, so that's a really nice movable thing. And then one of the features is the shark, which you open that, twist out, and he's ready to go. And it's actually really nice detailing on these sharks. 
I, they are, have special molds and they're really nice and they can actually fit a figure inside of them. So I have Jack Sparrow here and then, sorry, I have one hand, so that's why it's a little weird. And now Jack Sparrow is being eaten by the shark. He cannot go in all the way, or at least I haven't figured out a way to get him to go in all the way. I don't know if it's just Jack, so luckily Jack gets to survive for another day. So I'm just going to pull that aside. And then from the back view of the set, there's some really nice detailing on the back there. This is open. I don't know if they intend for you to put your figures in there somehow. It, but you can see some of the technique that makes up the set there. And then here is the rudder. It can move from side to side, and that's a really nice feature. And then we're going to go back to the side here, because I have two last amazing features here. So this can go down on the side there, which is really nice. It's really accurate. And then, as you can see, the Silent Mary... I just pulled that upwards, and then these flip out, and then you're intended to go like that, so it's like progressively opening there. And yeah, I find that to be a little, really nice feature. And yeah, it definitely makes the set a lot better. So overall, this set is probably the best Pirates of the Caribbean set. It's definitely my favorite. And yeah, it's really, really nice. I d definitely love this set, and I like how they made one just for this movie instead of not making any and never getting any more Pirates of the Caribbean set. The original line ended in 2012, I want to say, just saying for that. And yeah, this is a really nice set. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.